Welcome to London, everyone, and welcome to Mind the Product. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Martin Erickson, and together with Jana Basto and Simon Cast, I'm one of the co-founders of Mind the Product. I'm also a 20-year product management veteran, which means I've been building stuff online since before Steve Jobs returned to Apple, the internet came on floppy disks, and there was a whole other Clinton running for president. <laughs> which is just one reason it's amazing to see so many of you here today. As many of you know, this started as a simple meetup with just 30 people in the back room of a bar. The, this is our fifth conference in London, and it's just getting bigger and better every year. Today, we have over 1,400 product people gathered from all over the world in this beautiful hall at the iconic Barbican. I do have to ask, though, if you guys are all here, who's actually running the internet today? <laughs> Nothing's going to break, is it? Now, that might be exaggerating a little bit, but we all know product management can be undervalued and underappreciated as well, especially by ourselves. When we started, when I started my career, I'd introduce myself to people, and they'd never heard of the title before. These days, they've heard of the title, but the first question is always, what do you actually do? <laughs> but hey, at least they've heard of us. It's progress. Despite that lack of understanding, product management has moved on in leaps and bounds. As a number of people here today proves, it's a job and a skill that more and more companies understand, appreciate, and seek out. And the role itself has evolved from the early days of traffic managing releases through a dark period where we just sat and wrote agile stories to a more open and collaborative role that brings together the best of UX, business, and technology. So problem solved, right? We've got our job title, we've got our space in the organization, we've got our seat at the management team table, Let's just get on with building amazing products. Not so fast. Product management just doesn't lend itself to the status quo. It was also five years ago that Mark Andreessen first posited his now famous quote, software is eating the world. I think we can safely say that this has been borne out in reality. The world's largest hotel, Airbnb, owns no property. The world's largest telecom companies, Skype and WeChat, have no infrastructure. The world's largest retailer, Alibaba, carries no stock. The world's most popular media site, Facebook, has neither faces nor books. <laughs> so software is eating the world. But what does that actually mean? It means our interface to the world around us is changing, and I'm not talking about UI. What I'm talking about is a fundamental shift in how we interact, not just with technology, but with each other and with the companies and services that we use. This new interface builds on a combination of wild advances in technology, new innovative business models, and a design and user experience practice that has finally made technology human-centric instead of having excuses made for it. And that is why we are all here today, because we are the ones building that new interface. Product management is more important than ever before, precisely because that new interface lies at the intersection of business, technology, and design. No one discipline can solve all the challenges that all three face. Whether you're a product manager, a designer, an engineer, a psychologist, a data scientist, we're all product people. And that intersection is where we live, in the middle of a blue Venn diagram. It's a slightly funny place to call home. It doesn't have much of a garden, but it does have an endless supply of Post-its and Sharpies. At Mind the Product, therefore, we implore you to ignore the semantics of job titles and the endless debate of who owns the user, the code, or the interface. I say, who cares? We all own the product together. And that's why on stage today, we've brought together not just product managers, but designers, psychologists, engineers, a 
the founders, and even an economist. Insight into all of these disciplines is necessary, critical even, to be able to innovate and lead in this fast-changing environment. And all of these disciplines are needed together to build products people love. What about the next five, 10, or 15 years? What's coming down the pike? For one thing, the rate at which software is eating the world is only increasing. Five years ago, Uber was a simple black car service in San Francisco. Today, it's a global company worth a faintly credible $66 billion. 10 years ago, the S&P 500 was topped by General Electric, ExxonMobil, and two banks. Today, it's dominated by technology firms. 15 years ago, Pluto was still a planet. But, you know, there have been a lot of casualties along the way. Every day, disruptive new products, services, and companies are springing up. Some merely capture our attention for a short while. Others point to exciting new futures, which may or may not disrupt how we do everything. At the same time, as product people, we're being asked to do more, faster, for less. As ever, our organizations want some magical unicorn combination of fast, cheap, and amazing. And we get stuck into our work, we put our heads down in our silos, and we build, and we build, and we build. When are we supposed to step back? When are we supposed to look at the bigger picture? When are we supposed to think about the context that our products live in? And when are we supposed to learn and take in new ideas? That's why being here today is so valuable. In such a fast-moving field, there is no one right way to do things. And there's certainly no time to develop a definitive practice. We can only learn and we can only improve our craft by coming together as a tribe and sharing our experiences, lessons, and insights. You may have come here today to learn, to level up your career, or just to get a day out of the office. But the beauty of Mind the Product is that you can do all three. Listen to the speakers and their hard-earned insights. They have some amazing stories to share. Discuss them online using our hashtag or in our Slack channel. But most importantly, get out there, find new peers to connect with, debate the talks you've just heard, and then share your own experiences with each other during the breaks. You can gather around the networking wall that's just outside, or discuss specific topics in the roundtable room upstairs. Finally, of course, enjoy a day out of the office and enjoy a day of reflection, whether it's on the terrace outside, over a game of giant blue Jenga, or over the drinks at the end of the day. Because no matter what happens in the next 5, 10, or 15 years, I bet our jobs will look very different again. And it's only by working together as that tribe and learning from each other that we'll be able to manage so much change. One thing is for sure, we will be here together minding the product.